At 3.19 a.m., Travis Ryan King arrived in the parking lot of the Waffle House in his pickup truck. Ryan King sat inside the pickup truck for three and a half to four minutes just looking at people inside the restaurant. After about four minutes, Ryan King got out of his truck, armed with an AR-15 rifle, and started shooting. There were two persons standing outside the restaurant. They were the first ones who were hit both fatally. Ryan King then entered the restaurant and began shooting. As he was shooting, a patron of the restaurant, James Shaw Jr., ran to the, rest, to the restroom area of the Waffle House, saw that the shooting had stopped, and saw an opportunity to intervene. Mr. Shaw wrestled the rifle away from Ryan King and tossed it into another part of the restaurant. We have learned that Ryan King was arrested by the United States Secret Service for being in a restricted area near the White House in July of 2017 he was subsequently released. Ryan King was later interviewed by Tazewell County, Illinois authorities and the FBI. His Illinois firearms authorization was revoked to our understanding at the request of the FBI and four weapons were seized by Tazewell County authorities. Among the weapons seized by those authorities was the AR-15 rifle used at the Waffle House today. The police department has received information that the guns were returned by Tazewell County authorities to Ryan King's father, who has now acknowledged giving them back to his son.